Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to make a video on have we all become super, super selfish and self-obsessed, uh, not only in the world, but in the spiritual field as well. And I think it's important to note that we are, there's obviously a lot of debate around the exact dates of this, but we are moving from the age of Pisces the age of serving and following and having a guru to the age of sov being sovereign, the age of Aquarius. And I think this plays into it. And, you know, whenever there's a big change, often the pendulum goes from here and it just swings and it goes really far the other way before it can come to a balance point. And I feel that's probably what is going on. If you look at the spiritual leaders, even just sort of let's go back 10, 20 years, they were very much about serving and now it's very much about self. And I do feel there's a balance in the middle because obviously it's very, very important to heal oneself. And in order to be able to give, like they say on the plane, to be able to serve others, we have to serve ourselves first, right? You can't come at it from a broken... If you ever try and have a relationship, not that I'm saying that we're ever broken, but if you ever try and have a relationship when you're just really really reactive and you've not done a lot of work on yourself it's probably going to end up in flames because you just can't actually give to another you just can't you're so self-focused and and triggered by everything that it's very difficult for it to work but my question is have we just swung way too far the other way and when you look at what's going on in the spiritual community now it's very much self-love me 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 i want i want i want i want to manifest i want to get seven figures every year you know else um, i'm not truly abundant i'm not truly spiritual anymore if i'm not earning seven figures every year um, you know, I've got to serve myself and get my needs met and be holidaying all the time. And, um, you know, and then even in relationships, it's like, I have boundaries. These are my needs. I want these needs met. And don't get me wrong. There's a balance in everything. Do I think it's great to just be a slave <laughs> and to fulfill everyone else's needs and just be completely, you know, bankrupt and dry? Absolutely not everything in life there's sort of a central point right and I'm realizing this more and more on every topic that everything actually when I really investigate it for a while I'm like oh yeah it's just about balance <laughs> and finding the middle point you know it's how I've gotten on manifesting too you know between manifesting and surrendering I think I've come to a point on that as well where I feel like there's a balance between asking and listening asking and listening and I feel the same with this at this point in, in time as well. But I do think that we really should take a little step back from being this self-absorbed. Uh, and I speak for myself as well. I'm an only child. You know, can you get more, can you get more selfish? <laughs> but I really am feeling that awareness of seeing it in the world around me. And sometimes when you see it in excess around you, it makes you reflect on yourself as well. And you know, there's also this very uh, victim mentality, wokeness going around at the moment. And that's also very selfish because everything has to revolve around their issues and their wounds. And we all have to tiptoe tip, tip around. You know, I couldn't care less personally um, what gender somebody wants to have a relationship with. It's no business of mine unless they're a close friend and we want to chat about it. But if that enters a room before you, if I know who you're having sex with before I've got to know your name, then you probably have a massive wound around it, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. We need to own being a victim for a bit. But I don't, I think we've moved to a place where we're now celebrating victims. You know, we're celebrating staying in victimhood and making it an identity and making everybody else kind of like tiptoe around. And it's this very, again, very self-centered, you know, it's, it, it seems like it's coming from a nice place, a nicer place and maybe a bit more narcissistic traits, but really all of it is just very me, 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 um, self, 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 self. I don't care about anybody else's issues. I don't care what anybody else wants. I just care about me. And we've really, uh, you know, and everything at the moment is about self-love, love yourself, put down the boundaries. And yeah, I just think we've gone into real overdrive. Like I said, I do think it's a pendulum. I do think it will come back to the middle, but we can also work on bringing that balance for ourselves. I actually, I think I mentioned it in another video. I was reading uh, a book called uh, The Camino by Shirley MacLaine. And I really enjoyed a bit where she talks about twin flames. And she said that, 
you know, take it with a grain of salt what you believe. But she said that they were an experiment by a higher race to get humans to stop being so egotistical and to serve another outside of themselves. And because they weren't serving God, they created the twin flame to sort of create a body outside of self that they wanted to serve and love. You know, in relationships, I just feel when I see a lot of stuff online now, it's very much treat me like a queen. And you've got all this division over red pill and and the and feminis, feminism has gone crazy. And you never really hear now about giving to your partner and meeting your partner's needs and what can I do for you? You know, what, how can I, how can I make you feel better? You know, this stuff is gone now. It's all me, 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 me. And I am just thinking, have we gone too far with being self-obsessed in our healing, in our growth, in our needs, in our desires? And could we come back to a little bit more of a balance point between the two? Um, and that's my video for today. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think we've become a bit self-obsessed or do you think we're where we need to be because maybe we've been held down for a long time and this is us kind of breaking out, breaking free of being followers? What do you think? Put it in the comments below and I hope everyone is good and speak soon. Bye-bye.